Okay, in this video we're going to discuss how to delete specific characters from a file. And we're going to talk about this in the context of wanting to delete uh, double quotes around text words within the input file. And so to remind ourselves of what the input file looks like, let's use the head command to look at the first two rows in Bank Marketing. And you can see that all the column headers and then uh, values within, text values within the columns are, are surrounded by double quotes, and we just want to delete those. So let's look at a couple different ways using uh, tr, sed, and Perl commands to delete this character from our input file in different ways. So to get started, we'll clear and take a look at the tr command. So for the tr command, you use tr, and then there's a flag minus d for deleting double quotes and we pass in our input file and have to write that to an output file. But I don't want to keep the output file, so let's use the command that we already learned, mv, to rename temp.csv back to our original file name. And when we run that and rerun the head command, we'll see that we uh, deleted all of the double quotes around the words. So let's get our file back in its uh, original condition. Remember that we had originally downloaded bank additional full, and then uh, I'll copy that, the contents of that file into bank marketing to restore all of the double quotes. Now let's look at the set command. So the set command for in place editing is minus I, and then to run the command on the command line is minus E. And then it's a simple substitution. We want to substitute double quotes with nothing globally, and that's the substitution. And then we pass in our input file. So we're doing uh, in-place editing with minus i, and then running the command on the command line with minus e, and then substituting double quotes with nothing globally across each line for our input file. We run that and look at the first two rows, and we've deleted all of the double quotes around all of the text words. So once again, let's restore our file by recopying the original data into bank marketing and then clear everything out. And just to confirm, let's look at the head of our file now. So you can see that uh, we've put the double quotes back in. And now what we'd like to do is use a Perl command. So it's very similar. We're going to use minus I for in-place editing and then minus PE uh, for putting a loop around our program and running it on the command line. And then the substitution is the same. We're going to substitute double quotes with nothing globally across the line for our input file. And we're doing in-place editing, so it's going to delete all of the double quotes in our file. And then if we once again look at the top of our file, we've deleted all of the double quotes. So of course, if there was another character that you were trying to delete, uh, you could use any of these commands to do so. You can use tr, sed, or Perl commands to do in-place editing uh, to remove a specific character from your file. Thanks for watching.